What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are looking at the player SBC, the foot birthday player SBC and it is going to be your boy Mangala to review today. Now I looked at this card and I thought to myself, 86 defending, okay, 90 physicals, okay, 76 dribbling is not bad at all, 78 passing is not bad at all, but then you look at a pace and you see 80 pace on a card and especially in FIFA 21, we all know. 80 pace is going to struggle. We all know it, boys. But either way, he's still looking like a proper solid, solid centre-back. Now, when it comes down to his height, he is a six foot two player. So that interception reach with that tackle reach is something he is going to have. He has got medium-high work rate, three-star skill moves with a five-star weak foot. So he has had a skill move upgrade by a plus one and a weak foot upgrade by a plus one as well. Now, when it comes down to the chem style, you have to go for a shadow. Like, without a doubt, you have to go for the shadow. There's absolutely no need going for, like, an anchor, going for, like, a centre all there's no need because you don't need to boost your st the strength and you don't need to boost the aggression you just try to make this guy as fast as possible and with that shadow chem style you're giving him a plus 10 acceleration and a plus 10 sprint speed making him 85 acceleration and 94 sprint speed so pace wise it's still not, you know, still not up there, let's say, but it's not bad at all. Now, he hasn't got a shooting ability at all, as you clearly can see. 32 finishing is very questionable, but when it comes down to his passing ability, it doesn't look, you know, outrageously good, but it doesn't look bad at all. He has got 70 vision, 77 crossing, 71 freaky accuracy, 85 short passing, 82 long passing with a 69 curve as well. Now, this is something I was impressed about. 87 agility. 87 agility okay 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 he's got 86 balance 91 reactions 75 ball control 70 dribbling with a 90 composure as well for me personally i don't like to see the you know don't like to see the ball control very very low because usually when a player's ball control is very low and they go for, in for like an interception the ball just straight up bounces off them and goes back to my opponent but we are going to see what happens when it comes down to mangala, mangala today now the defending ability he's got 93 interceptions which is so so, so good 93 heading accuracy 91 defensive awareness, 98 standing tackling, with a 99 slide tackling as well. This is one thing I feel like Mangala is going to be so good at is ridiculous. Like putting in those tackles, he should be getting the ball quite consistent as well, saying that he is a six foot two player. And when it comes down to his physicals, he has got 87 jumping, 81 stamina, 93 strength with a 93 aggression as well. I feel like this guy, he's going to be bodying off a lot of players. Now, when it comes down to the links, he's from La Liga. He is also French. And we all know there's a certain individual you can link this guy up with and he will get a strong link with. And it is going to be your boy Varane. Now, I haven't got Varane in this team simply because I don't use Varane, okay? So I've gone for Rio, Deco somehow squeezing himself into this team once again, Carlos Alberto, and this guy in goal which it was just one of those players I had in the club to get him on full chemistry, okay? Either way, Mangala will be playing in a 4-4-2 in that centre-back position, and that's the only position I'm going to be trying him in today. But let's get into the games. Mangala, putting that tackle, well played. That was a solid tackle to start it off. I want to see how he feels actually on the ball. So let's give him the ball. Ball roll. Oh, he's not the greatest. Oh, that's a pretty decent turn, but yeah, it doesn't feel the greatest at all. It is very, very slow. Through that middle, see if I can press out to him. He actually got the ball on the other side of Palacio. Through that middle, see if I can maybe cut that lane. I'm going to try to get out to him. He's transition speed. Like, look how fast it is. Him going left and right seems very nice right now. Can I recover? Uh, boys, I'm telling you right now, that transition speed that I just saw, that's pretty decent. Like, he's going left and right really quick. And it looks like he's going to be one of those players that you might actually be able to press your opponent with, then instantly recover. Can I get out to him? I can. I'm going to be a little bit too far. Mangala does recover pretty well, though. For a second, I thought he wasn't going to actually recover, and we was going to concede there. Going to try to cover that up. Maybe through the middle. Mangala, I need you to get there. Oh, beautiful. Yes, that's what I needed. I needed that strength to come into play because right there, it didn't look promising. I thought he was going to 100% get outpaced by Neymar, and he pretty, pretty much did, to be fair. It was just his strength that actually did save him. Through that middle, Mangala gets out to him. He puts in a tackle from the other side of Neymar once again. And we are going to stay calm and intercept that ball. What happened there? What was that animation that I just saw? He literally left the ball completely and tried to body off Neymar. Don't allow that. Through the middle, Mangala puts in a tackle. Well played. That's a solid tackle as well. Through the middle. Don't allow that extra pass. Shield him off or something. He is going to allow Puskas through. And he is luckily going to put him under enough pressure to miss that opportunity. But that right there was quite worrying. I didn't like how he wasn't fast enough to get in front of Puskas there. Mangala. 
I'm going to go for a slight tackle. Really nice slight tackle just to push out for a corner. Put that middle. Can I press out to him? Nice. That's a solid tackle. Well played, Mangala. Going to give it to Mangala. I told Aguero to make a run. I'm going to go for an over-the-top through ball. It's not a bad pass. It's not a bad pass at all. Let's see if we can actually score this. Is someone going to make the run? Give it back to Mahrez. Fake shot. Into the inside. Oh, that's perfect. Can we get a goal? We are going to get a goal. What a ball, though. Don't allow him in between. Not one, two. Well played. Good strength to hold him off as well. Good little sprinting. No, I did too much. Are we going to concede? We aren't going to concede. Rio Ferdinand is there. For a second, I thought we was going to concede because I did way, way too much with him. He's going to run through that middle. I'm going to test out his pace against the foot birthday, Lucas. He's done well. He's done really well to actually catch up to him. No one, two. Okay, I'm going to see if I can put in a tackle. What a tackle. All the way on the other side once again. I'm telling you, his tackle reach is so nice. Like, you don't have to be on the right side to actually tackle the player. Going to get him in behind. I'm going to leave him and see what he actually tracks. You see that defensive awareness? You see how he was actually trying to cover Palacio there? That was an AI, it was called AI uh, clearance, by the way. That was not me going for that slide tackle. But yeah, you see his defensive awareness, like he's tracking runs by himself and he's trying to cut those passing lanes. That's something that I really do enjoy about him. Through the middle. Can I put it in tackle? Well played. I'm telling you, he, Lucas right now, he is getting clamped up by this Mangala card. Like every single time I've gone in for a tackle, I've actually came out with a ball. So we have got a corner here. We are going to give Mangala a go and hopefully we can actually get a goal. He's brought out the keeper, but I feel like he's brought him out a bit too far. So I'm going to see if I can go super near post and get that finish. No way. He literally leaped over all the players and got to the ball. It was just my terrible aiming that didn't make him score a goal there. Mangala, get out to him. Oh, I'm going to accidentally go too far, but he is going to recover pretty well. Going to shield off the ball. This is what I mean. You can't do too much with him because every single time I've personally done too much with him, I've ended up losing the ball. Like that time we got extremely lucky not to. Can I get out to him? Oh, that's such a good reach. If he doesn't get that ball because I've committed as well, we've conceded. That's unreal how he's got that ball. I don't know what I'm doing right now, by the way. I think I'm going a bit too far, but let's go. Let's go for a run. You're not going to outstrength him. There you go. Keep going. Little bull roll. Step overs. Oh, bye-bye. Hold off, Rooney. No, we couldn't go all the way. Don't allow him through the middle. Oh, well played, man. I'm telling you, boys, he's reached. Just to grab a ball out of nowhere is unreal. And I'm going to be honest. I don't know where this ball control is coming from because every single time he's gone in for an interception, the ball has literally stuck to his foot. Don't allow that through the middle. Well played. I like how he was tracking it once again. Is he going to go down? Nah, he's going to go up. Look at Mangala. Look at him right now. Tracking that Lucas run. Don't allow it through the middle. Come on, stay calm. Be clamps. No, I'm just going to drag him out of position slightly. But do you see what I mean about him tracking runs and him doing it all by himself? Like, I don't need to control him to make him track that run. He does it automatically. Let's see if I can switch him here. There you go. Well played. One thing I definitely did feel like was going to be a slight bit of an issue was his stamina. The stamina not being the greatest, I did feel like, you know, it might be a bit worrying, let's say, if he's trying to catch up to these extremely fast players that's trying to get him behind the whole game. Well, I'm going to be honest, his stamina is perfectly fine. If you look bottom left corner, you can clearly see it's actually more than halfway. So it is time to review him. We ended up playing three games with Mangala and unfortunately, we did not get a goal with him. There was an opportunity to get a goal but it all came down to me and it all came down to my accuracy with the stick and it let us down it really did like he got up there the jumping ability was insane right it's just when it came down to the manual heading accuracy it didn't go well it really didn't so yeah obviously that's me to blame but it is what it is you know now this card right here boys i'm telling you it's not a bad card at all he puts in one hell of a tackle he puts in one hell of an interception his aggression his strength is there his dribbling ability definitely not there and his pace is definitely not there as well but he's not a terrible card the only issue is he's going for 220k and that price right there no chance. Absolutely no. Especially when you have a player like Gold Varan that is going for around 30k. You cannot sit there and pay 220k for this card right here. So that goes back to my question. Do I believe it, it is worth it? I 100% feel like it's not. And this is the first L EA are actually going to take when it comes down to this foot birthday promo. This card right here. Big, big letdown. But let's get into the ratings. Pace wise, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like an 8.5 out of 10. He is going to get pace, outpaced in most occasions, but it is going to be an odd occasion where he is going to catch up. You know, for a fact, there's going to be a time where this guy right here, 
is somehow, some way, going to catch up to Mbappe one every like 10 times. But you know, you need that. You need more consistency than that. You can't hit, get him catching up to Mbappe one out of 10 times. You need it at least nine out of 10 times. And Mangala, he ain't going to do that for you. So yeah, for pace, I'll give him an 8.5 out of 10. Obviously not going to do the shooting because we did not score a goal with him. Passing ability, it wasn't bad at all. I personally thought the vision was going to let me down when overtopping the ball down the line. But he can do it at the left. He can do it at the right. It's not consistent, but he's still able to do it. So for passing, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like an 8.3 out of 10. Dribbling ability. This is the one thing you can literally not do with this guy. Do not dribble with this guy, please. Please, please, please. Tackle the ball, instantly pass away. It doesn't matter if you hit it towards your teammate. No, just pass into the open space. Make sure this guy has not got a ball when it comes down to his dribbling because he is so slow, so slow at it. So for dribbling, I am going to give him, I'll honestly say like a 7.6 out of 10. The one thing that I would say is actually good about him is obviously the composure. Like you can sit there and hold LT and he'll be calm and composed and he'll be using that 93 strength to shield off the player. That's the only thing I can say about him. Either way, defending, I will give his defending, I would honestly say like a 9.3 slash a 9.4 out of 10. Beautiful interception reach, beautiful tackle reach, puts in a solid tackle, interception is great, defensive awareness is great as well. So you really can't go against it. And when it comes down to the physicals, we all knew this guy was going to be bodying players for fun out there. And that's exactly what he did. The one thing that I thought was going to be a bit scary, let's say, was the stamina. I thought the stamina might be a little bit of an issue, especially playing up against all these extremely fast players, you know? He's going to be using a lot of stamina when obviously trying to track them and all, but it wasn't. It was not bad at all. He did last for the whole 90 minutes. I did show you guys as well that he had more than half of his bar in the 75th minute, so it obviously does last for the whole 90 minutes. And for physicals, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like a 9.3 as well. Now, when it comes down to an overall rating out of 10, I don't want to give him a too high, but I don't want to give him too low because he really isn't that bad of a card. So for, for the rating, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like an 8.6 out of 10. I see, I feel like that is very, very reasonable. But boys, it's 100% not worth it. It really is. And like 220k EA, you 100% have took an L on this one. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.